Hey everyone, Stephanie here doing a quick review on my Polaram greenhouse. I've had this up for about a year. I originally bought it from Costco, had it delivered straight to the house. Um, I just checked today and the current price is $749.99. When it was delivered, it took us I don't know, a day. Um, it didn't take an incredible amount of time and I would say one of us did most of the work and it took two people to slide the panels in. Just a quick overview of the greenhouse. The base on this greenhouse is galvanized steel and the base can be bolted or screwed down to a frame. I have mine just sitting on concrete at the moment and I haven't had any issues with that. The frame is powder coated aluminum which means that it is rust resistant and there are also uh, internal support beams um, on the corners here that help make sure that the greenhouse stays in shape. Um, all of the panels are UV resistant polycarbonate. Um, uh, which transmits 90% of the light. This particular greenhouse came with a starter kit. I am not using the shelf, the heavy duty shelf or the plant hanger kit that came with the starter kit. I am using the auto open roof vent. This auto open roof vent opens when it's about 55 or 60 degrees. Um, I wouldn't have a greenhouse without some type of automatic vent. I've been considering adding one of the um, wall vents to this greenhouse. I just haven't yet. Um, and then I go out and I open the door when it's a day like today, when it's warmer for more airflow. Um, then it kind of allows the air to flow all the way through. Um, the door itself is lockable. It is a narrow door. It's, it's pretty small. Um, the roof is pretty short. I mean, I'm sitting, I can almost touch the peak of the roof. It does, this greenhouse does have a built in gutter system. So all along the sides here, there's a bit of a gutter system. So when rain comes down off the roof, it goes into the gutter system and you can hook up uh, hoses and then use that to irrigate plants. Um, I'm not using that, it just doesn't work out for what I need. I put in these shelving units here. Um, this is AC2 green treated above ground lumber in a two by two size. Uh, it's about just about the cheapest lumber you can get your hands on. I built them the entire width of the greenhouse, which means you don't have a ton of room to turn around in here, um, but it does maximize space and it holds an entire tray pretty easily. Uh, I built mine um, with three, three shelves. One shelf is effectively the ground base level and then two shelves above that. I have it covered with a, uh, I think it's a half inch hardware cloth. I did a rounded edge on that and then I attempted to, and I should probably go get the grinder at one at some point, grind off the edges of these. They are a little pokey. Every once in a while I catch myself on these and it would be a case to say build this more narrow and perhaps if I come through and I do some revisions, I would. At my house, you can tell that I have this kind of tucked in a corner of my house. Um, I bought this particular six by eight greenhouse to fit this space. Um, it is six feet wide and eight feet deep. I probably should have started with that. Um, and it fits in the space just about perfectly. If I were going to put this greenhouse out in the open, uh, I would want to put either a cinder block base under this that you could bolt it to or some type of four by four or six by six base. Um, this unit, while sturdy-ish, is not the most sturdy greenhouse that you're gonna buy. Um, it, to be very honest, it's on the lower end. It kind of sits within kind of the Harbor Freight greenhouse space. Um, and those greenhouses aren't very sturdy. I have not yet had one of these panels blow out. Um, I have heard from other people that theirs have. They're in here pretty well. I would say that there isn't much flex in these panels. If I try this one over here, there's a ton of flex there. Um, but just be aware of that. If you put this greenhouse out in the open, you may have some issues with it, the greenhouse itself flexing or, or plant panels blowing out. Um, and so that's why I chose to have mine a bit more protected. I will say when we have a windstorm, when we have a big thunderstorm come through, I do hear this thing kind of like. But you get what you pay for uh, and it is a lower end greenhouse, but it gives me everything that I need. Um, in the super hot part of the summer, I haven't yet put a shade cloth on, but you could put a shade cloth on to continue growing in here. I use it for the most of the summer as just kind of a storage space and I keep my pots in here and any shovels and anything that I need um, while I'm gardening. And then usually about this time in spring, I you know bring all the plants out and they get to have some light, some natural light to grow 
Um, everything's looking super happy. We've had some cold, cold times here. I do have some sweet potato vines in here, which is probably the one plant that I need to be cautious of. I haven't checked on them. Oh, no, they look fine. They look fine, but they don't like cold. They're one of the first ones to go in fall. So I'm trying to make sure I take care of those. Everything else looks fine. They need to be watered. I'm gonna come in here in just a few minutes and water. And that's what I have. Would I buy it again? I would. Um, I saved up for this to make this purchase and I would definitely buy it again. I really enjoy it. I really like having it. It gives me something that I didn't have before. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned and we'll bring more gardening videos your way. See you next time.